I remember that story in the Bible about um, the master that came back and he asked the servant um, how much uh, he had made. Um, and one of the servants was a wicked servant because he buried the amount of money that he gave him to grow into more. And um, he said, well, at least you could have put it in the bank and there in the bank it would have grown. And it made me actually think, when one person, one person is born again, one person is saved, they go on to follow the lead of God when God wants them to speak into their lives, to, to tell them about salvation and how to get saved. Um, I think this picture of one soul getting saved and then 600 more uh, taken out of danger's way and, and they're born again and able to enter the kingdom of heaven, each one of those souls that is saved then goes on to snatch someone out of da um, danger's way. And so that's that picture in the Bible, you know, um, of the wise servant who who made the money his master gave him to grow. I think that's a, a parable in the Bible of harvesting um, harvesting and growing our harvest and I think Jesus was actually um, literally talking about souls of growing the kingdom of God and like when you don't tell anyone about that gift and you keep your light hidden under a bushel that um you know, that's not good because you're meant to be growing the kingdom of God, telling people about Jesus. Because it says that if you will be ashamed of me, I will then be ashamed of you in front of my father. So, you know, that's our due service is to help people um, come to the Lord Jesus. Um, and when not to actually expect any payment in return for that it should be a joy to us to to work for the Lord Jesus because um, that's just our due service we shouldn't expect any thanks for what we do that's my belief is it you know uh, it glorifies Jesus um, and we should give all the glory to Jesus for the work he did for us on the cross. Otherwise, where would we be, you know? Um, you know, if it wasn't for the mercy of God and um, him putting me back in my body, um, you know, um, I wouldn't have fulfilled my destiny. I, I, I would not have returned back to my body, you know? Um, so I'm really, really blessed. So I think that's just a reminder for us to remember to reach out to the lost. Don't forget to reach out to the lost and tell people about Jesus, even if it is sowing little seeds here and there. Um, share where you feel the Holy Spirit telling you to share. You know, um, I, I think we have to make a conscious effort to work for the kingdom of God and to make sure that we're growing the kingdom and not keeping this gift a secret and, and, and closed off from everyone.